Low or high, rumble or squeak, Africa's frog talk carries meaning that goes right over the heads of mere mortals. When it calls, a frog fills its lungs with air, closes mouth and nostrils, and shunts the air back and forth over the vocal cords like a bellows. It's at night that the choir really gets going. Here, a female water lily frog listens in to a male broadcasting from his lily pad. Calling is always a toss-up. It might draw the wrong company, predators or other males. And the female's presence soon brings them flocking in, increasing the likelihood of frog warfare. This neighbourhood is getting just a touch too crowded for him. In fact, when the in-house fighting's over, they might turn on him. Sometimes, males grab each other by mistake in the excitement of the moment. A special release call and violence soon sorts that one out. Just the fact that she's there has them all abandoning their own calling sites in favour of this one. This is that rare occasion when the female stays silent. This banded rubber frog follows its mate's call, who is calling from a hollow in the ground, which amplifies the sound. Checking the direction, she moves off, not wasting any time, as he calls impatiently. But en route, there is a slight distraction. A termite nest. And when it comes to choosing between an impatient mate and termites, there is no conflict. The stomach wins hands down. Amphibians were the first land animals to evolve a voice. They were also the first vertebrates to have an ear. And both are in active use in the mating season. An inflated vocal sac is a frog's amplifier. Just a few use their surroundings to help, and some even use their own eardrums to broadcast calls. With reed frogs, it's all about who calls loudest gets the girl some impressive voices. The strong, silent type. Competing against the more noisy. He's biding his time. Here we go then, let's show what I can do. But there are others trying the same thing, all with large throat sacks and impressive calls. So many men, so little time. Let's try and get her attention. He's got an impressive voice. So has he. Unimpressed, she moves away from this guy. She has her eyes on someone else. And while these two go throat to throat, he moves in. They come to blows or kicks. And the victor looks at his prize. But is challenged again. And while they are fighting it out, and to his amazement, the girl is claimed. 
he feels somewhat deflated. So does he. But he's not complaining. Um. 